Hey guys, this is Austin, and today uh, we've got the ultimate stornator. Linus, what are you getting ourselves into? This is gonna be over a hundred terabytes. Ken got a little upset with our previous workflow, so Linus jumped in. I actually wanna see, is it, like how big is the stornator? I haven't even seen it. You know what, this one is actually not that big. This is their all new AV15. So you actually have a bigger version of this for your petabyte project, right? Yes, so petabyte project is using two of the 60 drive units. Oh, two of them. So can I get your face on this? You could. So right now we use a NAS, which is much more kind of a basic sort of like backup kind of thing. But with this, with 100 terabytes of storage, and we actually have a little bit more, but I think we'll slowly kind of upgrade over time, we actually can store all of our videos, all of our raw footage, even stuff like red footage, which is of course enormous. Ooh, dude, that is clean. We're actually gonna be running Unraid, so that's why I prepared this USB drive. So the whole Excellent. OS actually boots off of a USB. Oh, it runs fully, oh, okay. Fully off of a USB, and that's it. Clean. That's your OS drive. And then we're actually gonna grab a couple one terabyte SSDs to use as a cache. So essentially, in addition to having all of our standard 10 terabyte hard drives, which is stupid on its own, yeah. we'll also have some SSD cache, essentially if we're dumping like a ton of footage on it really quickly. Yeah. Dude, this is really cool. I feel like we do a lot of videos on sort of interesting stuff, but this is way more in your realm. Ooh. So these are 10 terabyte hard drives and we have 15 of them? These are pretty new drives, right? Yeah, so these are the Iron Wolf Pro. They're rated for, they've got a five year warranty. They're rated for like 300 terabytes a year of- <laughs> On each drive. Of access per drive. So you, <laughs> you guys aren't even gonna touch that. If one of them did fail, what's cool is you can pack this off. Yeah. And Seagate can do their restoration magic, we hope. I mean- Of course, you possible. never know, yeah. Um, and then even if you lost, like, like catastrophic failure, yeah. multiple drives failed, mm -hmm. Unraid doesn't stripe the data across multiple disks. It saves it in files. It saves it in files to disks. Seagate hooked us up with all of this, by the way. How much do you think all these drives would have cost by themselves? Because these are what, four or 500 bucks each? This is about six grand worth of drives. Thank you, Seagate. You guys are great. It's like completely toolless. We just drop it straight in? It's, well, there's one tool. Okay. Hey! I see what you yeah, did yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But other than that, no, there are no tools. You guys were kind of thinking, you go what? Like uh, 100 terabytes to start, and yeah. then you just kind of expand as you go? Because I think, like you were saying before we even did this, it doesn't make sense to have all these drives powered up and sitting in here forever if we're not gonna come close. Because right now, we're running off of 12 terabytes, and that's more than what we need. Right. But what we're, what we're doing right now is we're deleting all of our raw footage. So when we finish up a video, essentially we will save like the main video as well as we'll save like a master file, but we'll delete all of the raw stuff. And that is 150 terabytes. Actually a little bit more, because we've got, we're gonna have some SSD cache, but yep. we won't count that. 150 terabytes <laughs> of raw storage. Oh. You know, this actually is a pretty reasonable size. Like it's about the same size like a normal computer chassis, really. The cabling I think is what really jumps out to me. It like, you think about like, if we were trying to put even like say five or six drives in a normal computer chassis, it's gonna be a disaster of cables everywhere and everything. It becomes but a nightmare. This is nice and clean. So this is our current setup. Yeah. That is, <laughs> just, just set it down, man, that's so heavy. Now it is kind of close to where we film, but since it's got the Noctua fans, I hope it's gonna be pretty quiet. Only one way to find out. Stornator in three. Nah, I'm not gonna count it. So all you gotta do is plug it in and then you navigate to tower, but we're gonna okay. change that. So okay. we'll, we'll make the server whatever you wanna call it. Okay, so we're activated, we're good to go? We're activated, we're good to go, this is it. So here's info, you can see right now we're connected at gigabit because we haven't put the 10 gig switch in. All right. Server identification. Oh, we need a name for it. What's it called? Well, we can't call it the Stornator, that's like, that's too easy. It's a big thing, we're gonna be staring at this name for the next five years of our life. The Dunkinator! No! How dare you? Oh, I love it. No, 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 no. 33303. No. Oh, three. Did you do it? Yeah, I did oh, it. Okay. It's the Dunkinator 33303 three, now. So the cool things about this is that even though obviously we can connect via not only gigabit, but also 10 gigabit ethernet, and I think we're gonna do that sort of later on. Yeah. This also works over Wi-Fi. So if yeah. I'm sitting on the couch over here, I can go download a file, upload something, whatever. Yep. So Wi-Fi is going to be plenty fast enough to do something like a simple, like an archive, or you yeah. know, just pull a file off. But if we want the full speed, especially for editing off of it, what we can do is we can use this Thunderbolt 2 adapter to 10 gigabit yeah. ethernet, and then run it through a switch and get pretty solid speeds. I mean, yeah. this is really quick. I mean, you can ingest huge chunks of footage way, way faster. So this is 
the whole like idea of not just having it be big, but also safe. Right. So while you're copying that, yeah. I can just- oh. oh, don't do it, don't do it. Ah, it's tight. <laughs> oh my God, that's tight. My <laughs> fingers are sweaty. There it goes. Okay, don't move it around a whole time. Yeah, it's I feel spinning, it's spinning. But uh, we're still copying. So basically all you have to do if a drive fails, yeah. which we've simulated here, yeah. is pop a new one in, the uh, set the array to rebuild, and it rebuilds the It data. doesn't even skip a beat. Like, it doesn't even say like pause, it doesn't slow down. It's just still copying, no problem at all. Uh, there we go. 140.97 terabytes free. <laughs> Dude, thanks for coming out, man. This is, oh, my this is pleasure. a lot of fun. This is so cool. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Definitely be sure to let me know what you think about a 150 terabyte server in the comments below. Also, this guy's kind of all right. You can check out his channel. And I, or we, or someone, will catch you in the next one.